Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Baby, the message comes in the form of me talking about something I'm going through, okay? So, about a month ago, I decided to order myself a new purse, okay? Absolutely love it. It goes with these boots that um, I can't wait to, you know, pull out in the wintertime, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm hyped about my little purse. Baby, when I tell you, I knew it was going to take a while to get to me. But what I did not expect was that FedEx would not only lose my package, but claim with a full chest that it was delivered to my house and then send a picture of somebody else's house like that's my house where that package is sitting and tell me, see, it was delivered. That uh, The brick's not even that color. The doorknob not even on that side. The doorbell don't go there, nor is it that kind of doorbell. It's a ring doorbell on the house that I live in. The scripture God sent me to is Leviticus. I'm sorry, y'all. 13 and 49. If the affected area in the fabric, the leather, the woven or knitted material or any leather article is greenish or reddish, it is a defiling mold and must be shown to the priest. The priest is to examine the affected area and isolate the article for seven days. Baby, God said for somebody that whatever it is that you was trying to get for yourself is not good enough. He sent it back because it ain't good enough. He he sent it back because it ain't good enough. He sent it back because it ain't good enough. Like, you know, y'all, this is so frustrating thinking about this situation. Because I'm literally, you know, driving around trying to figure out what house is this. So I can, you know what I'm saying, tap on the door like, where's my stuff? And whoever got my package is not courteous enough, neighborly enough, or kind enough to bring it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I do. If it's a situation where somebody's stuff end up on my porch, I take it to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't be holding on to some people's stuff. But some people, they don't care. But they'll be up in arms, acting a fool. And, act, you know what I'm saying? If it was the other way around. You know what I'm saying? And I used to come, I used to get so frustrated because I used to have, it would be used to be situations where I sit out, be sitting out in the garage, minding my own business. Neighbor get a package, they running out there trying to get the package, trying to look at me and trying to make sure I'm not going over. Like, ain't nobody finna come over there and get your stuff. I don't know what you got on that box. I probably don't even want it. But whose stuff always coming up missing? Mine. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And it's been a few times that I have had neighbors that will bring it. But, bro, it is frustrating when, you know what I'm saying? When you buy a little bitty stuff that ain't nothing but $1, $2, you know what I'm saying? That's nothing. But when you buy, you know what I'm saying? Really, it, it can be very frustrating. And it kind of had me a little nervous because I want to buy some more, um, I want to buy some more um, name brand things for the raffle. I want to get some more luxury goods for the raffle. But how am I going to get the luxury goods for the raffle? If I can't, you know what I'm saying? If I can, if, if they not even doing a job and this ain't even USPS, which is what got me shook. And I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put nobody on blast, but this is the truth. You know, I have proof. I have screenshots. I have screenshots of the picture they sent me, the door where they left that package, and the door of what my house actually looked like. Yep. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But God said, for whoever this is for, you know what I'm saying? Don't stress yourself. Don't worry yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? Because first thing, I, I, I'm already out. Uh, three hundred, four hundred dollars for a ring that I lost when I was in an accident. Now I'm out 
$200 for a purse. Now I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like God is saying for whoever this is for, he got something else for you. 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 I've been fighting with these people for two weeks trying to get my stuff. For two weeks, going back and forth with the seller on eBay, going back and forth with eBay, going back and forth with, like, you know what I'm saying? Two weeks. And everybody trying to tell me that I'm tripping and I received something I know I don't got. But I, I like, I know I don't got, I don't got neither. I don't got the money I paid for the purse or the purse. I don't got neither. That's what I know. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sit on here sounding like a brat. But you know what I'm saying? It did frustrate me. It did have me in a, a feeling of, you know, what am I going to do as far as ordering things, ordering things for, you know, the giveaway ordering things just when I want to order stuff if I cannot receive my packages <laughs> because they are so confused about these like they're not paying attention to the addresses and they're not paying attention to the houses they're not paying attention to what they are doing in a world where we have a GPS I do not understand how somebody could possibly deliver my package at the wrong house and it be such the wrong house that it's not even next door. It ain't even across the street wrong house. How you do that? How is this possible? And how am I left in a position to where I have no, no way of, you know, this get this wrong being right. God said something like that for somebody. Whatever this is, it should have been yours. It should have been in your hands. It should be a situation where you can hold it. It should be a situation where you can use it. But you can't. And you're frustrated. And you tried everything that you could possibly try in order to make it work. And it still didn't work. God said he got something better for you. God said he examined this. If the affected area in the fabric, the leather, the woven or knitted material, or any other leather, le leather article is greenish or reddish, it is a defiling mold and must be shown to the priest. God said, uh-uh, he got better stuff for you. And I'm just thinking about once again, went in the store today and got new stuff. Even though it's not for me, you know what I'm saying? That would be nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, <laughs> that would be nice. But you know what I'm saying? The money that I used was not for me. So I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But I, that was, anyways, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like when it come down to it, I just feel like God is saying for somebody, he have better for you. It's better that he have for you. It's not a situation where he wants you to have like the, the you know what I'm saying? The least. He wants you to have the most. It's not a situation where he don't want you to be blessed. It's not a situation where he wants you to be without. It's not a situation where he, like, that's not what God has for you. And sometimes even what we will seek for ourselves is not good enough for us in the eyes of God. And if that makes sense, like, I just feel like this will be the kind of person where you will think to yourself that you'll settle for um, something like you'll settle for the little house that, you know what I'm saying? It's all beat up and you got to fix it up and you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to do all these things and it floods and this happens and that happens. You going to settle for that because you're, you're humble and God will pat you on your head and say, that is very sweet. However, no God and God wants to give you the four bedroom three bath with the big backyard the big front yard you know what i'm saying the patio i just feel like god is saying for whoever this is for what you was trying to do for yourself god said that's not good enough for you get that out of here that's not good enough for you get that out of here it's not good enough for you 
and whatever loss that you got you know what i'm saying even when it comes down to the money it's frustrating it's irritating but i know god got me i know i know god got me i know it i know it i know god got me i know god got me i know god got me you know what i'm saying i know he do i know he do i know And I felt like while me with me knowing that, knowing that God got me, I also know on top of that, when he does bless me with what he wants me to have, it's gonna be a bit a thousand times better than what I thought I wanted. And I just feel like that's what it is for whoever it is for. Whatever it is that you think into yourself that you want, you think into yourself you need this, you want dot, 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 et cetera, et cetera. God said what he had for you, once you finally get that, it's going to be a situation where you're not even going to be thinking about what you thought you wanted. What you thought you wanted is nothing. It doesn't hold a candle to what God has for you. It's okay. It's all right. But as far as, you know what I'm saying, when it really come down to it, what God have for you, that's the best. That's it right there. That's the ticket right there. What God got for you. Not what you had. Not what you wanted. Not what you thought you wanted. Not what you desired. Not what you felt like. What God has for you, for real, for real. Okay, y'all, that's the message, that's the message, that's the message, that's the message, y'all. Woo! Baby, I got to get ready to eat, baby. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to receive a Christmas gift, um, you can do so by emailing me. If you have a child that you would like to get a gift for, um, please send me the child's age and, um... So I can, um, and if it's a girl or a boy, so I can choose the best gift for them. Um, if you would like to donate, you can do so by hitting up my cash app, dollar sign stars cartel, or my website, starscartel.com. I do need the help. I do. I do. I do need the help. I need the help on a regular basis. I for sure need the help on this basis right here. Because as I said in a different video, I'm not trying to just get any old thing. And I know it ain't nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, like certain things. But I want to get some nice stuff. But anywho, yeah. And if you would like to be in the raffle, you can join the raffle by donating $50. Every $50 is an entry. And you will be, um, after you donate the $50, email me. Let me know you want to be in the raffle. And I will put your name in the raffle. We will uh, choose the raffle winner on live, okay? Anywho, that's the message, y'all. I love you guys to bits and pieces. And I'll see you later. Deuces.